Hi guys and welcome back to the weekly vlog here at Inkden TV. As you can see, me and Sean are in a bit of a different location this week. Uh, we weren't here last week, but that's because we were getting this place downstairs finished. We are now fully open and operational down here. So uh, whenever you get the opportunity, make sure you pop in, come and say hello, come and meet our lovely uh, cafe assistant over there, Sarah, and uh, have yourself a nice brew, get yourself booked in for some ink. Um, as it stands, we are looking for a couple of new artists. We've got a bit more space now upstairs. So if you know anyone that has a decent portfolio, we're sort of looking for someone who's a senior level, um, tell them to get in touch. Uh, our email address is on the website, so tell them to uh, get in touch with us and we'll get back to them. Uh, we are going to be doing a full studio tour tomorrow uh, at one o'clock. We're going to live stream this on Facebook. So if you're watching this now, make sure you tune in and we'll uh, probably put something up on Facebook just before we do that. Um, but without showing her too, too much, that's all from me. Uh, I'm going to pass you off on to Shamak, who's back upstairs uh, to see what he's been up to this week because he has been a very busy boy. Hello, welcome after a, a long break. I've not uh, been on for quite a while so it's got quite a lot happened since last time I've been on a vlog. Uh, it's been a, a quite crazy last few weeks even months all together, but finally everything is settling down now, so uh, that was a good uh, adventure and challenge, I've learned so much, it's crazy. Uh, so it's uh, it's it's there now. It's it's all set up, so I can I can concentrate on uh, my uh, tattooing improvement and ZBrush now. And going this weekend to tattoo convention in Wrexham, so we'll be doing some biomechanical piece based on the ZBrush design. It's quite an interesting piece. Uh, we have a consultation with a uh, customer tonight, so we'll see if we will find some, some ideas together. It's, it's difficult, he's got some uh, scars after the operation and some muscle missing and uh, someone already starts some piece, so we'll see if that's going to be something I will be able to, to design and do this weekend. But it uh, looks like it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting piece to do. Uh, I've been on and off last few weeks all together, a few cancellations, uh, but I've not replaced them because of the downstairs being you know, a very busy, busy time for us. Uh, I still managed to, to do the pieces for exhibition which has been uh, down, uh, open this Monday, so if you want to see some of my pieces, some of my beginnings in ZBrush, uh, I've went back and picked up some pieces uh, which I created in ZBrush in the last few months and, uh, and make a small exhibitions uh, from it. Uh, with the other artists uh, from the shop. So if you're interested and would like to see what was going on in the last few months of my life pop in and uh, the other artists did some awesome pieces as well. So uh, pop in and see our new tea room. Uh, apart from that, I've been working, I've finished the back piece, I've been working on it and you've seen it before. I think uh, I've finished it now. Uh, I've went over a few places, so the photo it's kind of it doesn't doesn't uh, give the right justice about the piece. So I'm waiting for a customer to come back and take some proper pieces of final uh, final tattoo. It's uh, that Virgin Mary, which I the piece which I freehanded with some uh, like architecture uh, the, the surrounding in it. So that was a, that was a fun to do. It actually took only four sessions to, to finish it. We're probably going to have another two hours uh, when it's all healed just to see if all blend nicely and it uh, all healed well. Uh, but uh, yeah, we kind of finished it already. Uh, I did some more on a few biomechanical pieces uh, in the last few weeks, uh, but uh, I will like check out my, my Facebook and Instagram, it's, it's all there. Uh, apart from that, I will go back to this piece. Uh, I really enjoy to carry on this biomechanical uh, cover-up. Uh, I will post that later on today uh, on my Instagram. So probably it's going to be a similar time where you see this film. And I'll pass you to Holly. She's doing some nice piece today. Bye. Hi everyone. Um, so today um, I'm doing a um, piece like it's like a 
full top of arm piece, uh, full colour, sort of comic booky style with a bit of like um, acrylic painting, watercolour, it's really really cool. Um, it's from um, an anime called Tokyo Ghoul, um, it's also a manga as well. Um, I've never seen it myself, what I will be doing after this, because I've heard it's really, really good. Um, and I'm always into like watching stuff like that, so yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Um, and it's your second tattoo, isn't it? So yeah, she's sitting incredibly well for this, so that's amazing. Um, last week we had, uh, well Monday we had the exhibition opening which was really good, I had a nice time, um, saw some familiar faces which was nice. Um, my artwork is up um, alongside Sean, David and Shamax. So if you're in town and you want a really nice coffee, and I'm not even just saying that for like the video and because I work here, like the coffee's amazing, uh, vanilla latte. Um, yeah, you can go downstairs and then see our artwork as well. Um, we've all been working really, really hard on that, so it'd be nice to, to come and, and look at that. Um, and then in terms of tattoos, uh, on Tuesday um, I had um, a lady in who had um, a tiny bee that we did like four years ago. It, she's kept it so nicely, like it's really, really soft and fluffy and like dead happy with how it's healed. And then we added some um, sort of like line work and really, really soft shading flowers, like wildflowers. Um, so she picked a few of her favourite flowers to add to that piece. Uh, and then yesterday uh, we started, um, it's like loads of floral. Um, well, flat uh, roses. Um, it's like along a C-section scar to, to make it um, less visible. Um, so then next time we'll be doing um, some like soft shading in that, and then maybe some like drippy jewels and pearls and really pretty things. Uh, and then in the afternoon I had Brad in who had. Um, a Freddy claw like that, like traditional style. Like, I really enjoyed doing that. Um, and then he had um, the Death's Head Moth from Silence of the Lambs as well. Um, my absolute favourite film. So I was in my element yesterday. Like really enjoyed that. And then he's back in on Saturday getting um, Black Suit Spider Man. I'm not entirely sure. Is that Venom Spider Man? Yeah, yeah. I've been told yes from the comic book expert. Um, and then he's getting a web round his elbow as well, so that'll be nice and fun for him. Um, so yeah, uh, in terms of merch, I think we've got some new merch arriving. I've got some dresses, uh, t-shirts and things like that. There is some stuff downstairs if you want to come in and whilst you're having a look at artwork and having your vanilla latte, you can have a look at the t-shirts and towels, socks, everything like that. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I've got to say. I'll pass on to David who's doing a really cool piece. So I will see you all next week. Bye. Hi everybody. So, today I'm doing a fun piece. I'm doing a Banksy. Uh, I'm not doing it with spray cans and cardboard like he does it himself. Instead of we're doing it with needles and ink. Uh, we've got Liam here who has previously had a Banksy inspired piece. We ever so slightly changed it. So it wasn't a true Banksy, but this one is, is more just directly Banksy's work himself. I think he's a very cool artist, so I'm very happy to do this. Uh, had a fun week. We were getting everything ready for the exhibition last week, so that was all up and running. Uh, I've got my pieces now hanging down there. Uh, I've got two triptychs, which are sets of three, and a few other pieces to look at. Uh, we've also got some really delicious smelling food as well. I've been smelling that while it's been cooking and it makes me very hungry. So if you're ever in Blackpool and you fancy a snack or anything or just want to check out some cool work, pop on by to check that out. Uh, this week though, tattoo wise, I had a guy in over the last two days, very hardcore. He has had his entire upper arm done. First day we got it all lined outside and inside. And then yesterday we got it all filled in colour. Well, the outside at least. Uh, it's a Dragon Ball Z Rick and Morty mashup, so it's a very interesting style. Uh, I would describe it to you, but it doesn't make sense when you talk about it. You're just going to have to wait and see it in person. So keep an eye out for those pictures going up very soon. I've also got a fun piece coming in tomorrow, uh, a Cthulhu, which is a design of my own. It's actually a piece we made into merch as well. Uh, the guy loved it that much he wanted it on his own leg. 
So we've got that all outlined. The guy is an ex-wigby player, massive legs. And he's probably one of the biggest leg pieces I'll ever do. It was big enough to pretty much cover my entire chest if I wanted to. Uh, so that tells you how big his legs are. So I'm going to have fun finishing that off. That'll be tomorrow's work for me. Uh, that's all from us at Ink Den TV this week. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the live stream. And we'll be back next week. Cheers, guys.